one thing is I think we need to be very careful about government spending. I, I think the $1.9 trillion aid package was, uh, was too much. And I'm not the only one to say that. There are Democratic and Republican economists who both warned that that was too large, that it would contribute to inflation. So I, I think it's, it's important that we be more careful on the, on the uh, federal spending side. And, you know, I, I think both parties are to blame, frankly, for, for spending recklessly during the Trump years. That was an expansionary economic time when we should have been uh, paying down our debt, and instead we, we did not. We continued to borrow more money from China and spend more money and drive up the debt to the point that we're now at $31 trillion. So what else can we do about it? Uh, I think avoiding unnecessary wars is really important. We need to be more careful in our uh, use of the military and our in military engagements overseas. We could have saved trillions of dollars by uh, avoiding the war in Iraq. Um, I think we did need to respond uh, in, in Afghanistan and destroy Al-Qaeda, but the idea that we were going to make Afghanistan into some kind of America was very unrealistic and it cost us a lot in blood and treasure. That was a mistake. I think we can also, or we also need to do things to, uh, to lower the underlying costs of health care. Most of the debate in Washington is about how to subsidize, subsidize very high costs of health care. It's not about how to lower those costs. So I've, I've been calling uh, for uh, allowing Medicare to fully negotiate, to be able to fully negotiate on prescription drugs. Um, we're making progress on that now. I like to see, I like to see that, but it's, it's not enough. There are other reforms that we need to make to the prescription drug market that would uh, help lower prices. Um, but that's another you know, thing we can do that if, if we make some sensible reforms, if we're willing to stand up to special interests that would like to keep the cost of health care very high, then we can lower the uh, budgetary pressure that those costs put on the federal, the federal budget. And it also helps Americans who pay more for health care than anyone else to lower the health care costs that they, that they experience every month. So I, I also support passing some kind of legislation that would uh, encourage uh, more fiscal responsibility. You know, I am not someone who uh, believes we're going to balance the budget overnight or pay off our national debt in a couple of years. Um, I, I know that there are times of crisis when we need budget flexibility. That's a reality. Uh, but I do believe that, that we should pass legislation that, that includes uh, additional checks on, uh, on, on spending that exceeds our means. I, I believe we've got to do more to encourage the return of critical manufacturing to America. That's our biggest problem with inflation is that we're not, you know, we're not meeting demand with supply. And uh, you know, I, I supported the recent chip bill that would that will help us manufacture more uh, chips in in the United States. I think that's critical, but we need to do more on, on that front in general. And I think that's as much an economic issue as it is a national security issue. We need to produce more uh, when it comes to our critical supply chain here in the United States.